Okay, this is part three of the tutorial series of the new harp strings windows. Uh, this is the threshold tracking window. Um, this is called the hybrid window. Eventually we're going to add manual audiometry to this window, but currently we do not have that functionality turned on. Uh, as you can see, most of the controls are essentially the same, although the GUI is laid out differently. Um, we still have channel 1 and channel 2 controls, although only channel 1 is enabled at the moment. Um, you can still change the level on the SPL output. Um, standard play and no response controls. Um, down below the screen here you can see the standard exit uh, the window as well. And there's also a preferences button. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, also, there are a couple of plots here uh, instead of one plot, which will show the uh, thresholds. Um, they're now to ANSI standards. Um, this will go from 100 to 1000 hertz, and this one goes up to about 20k. Uh, this window here, which shows you the um, live action threshold tracking as it happens, will operate as before. However, uh, once the um, uh, a couple of reversals have happened, then you'll see this range will zoom in so that you'll only be looking at a 20 dB range, so it will be easier to track the changes in the plots. Uh, now I will open the Preferences pane, and this is where we are now keeping all of our test buttons. So um, this really will not be necessary for you to access, but in case you accidentally hit that button, there is a simple way to close it right here and we have a, a little bit more real estate as well. Um, the other functionality is essentially the same, it just generally looks different.